And so it begins. I just got an inquiry from a buyer calling my law firm asking what our fees would be to represent them in a transaction because they wanted to purchase a home and they did not want to use a real estate agent. Mm -hmm. I do think we're going to be seeing more and more of this. Me I think too. we're going to be seeing more buyers going completely unrepresented. Mm -hmm. And I think we're going to see more buyers choosing to have an attorney represent them versus hiring a real estate agent. Both of those types of buyers, I think, are making a mistake, and here's why. Yeah. So hopefully I don't have to explain why being completely unrepresented is a mistake. Um, even if you are a sophisticated investor who's bought and sold, you know, 20, 30 plus properties um, or more, I still think representation is a good idea. Yeah. Ideally, representation by both a real estate agent and an attorney is going to be the best in most circumstances. Um, however, for those buyers asking for attorney representation in lieu of representation by a realtor, I think this is a mistake for most buyers as well. Me too. So as many realtors have pointed out on this app and on other social media platforms, there are many, many things that a real estate attorney is not going to do that a realtor would do. And there is not an amount of money that I would charge that is going to get me to drive you around town to showings. Yep. That's going to get me to show up to your inspection yep. or do a host of other things that realtors typically do in a transaction. But here are the services I do provide as a real estate attorney. So I will obviously help you negotiate and draft your contract. I will make changes and updates to the contract as there are counter offers. I will handle that process all the way through the full execution of the contract by both sides. I will then send you a list of your deadlines and obligations under the contract to make sure you know about them. I will send you reminders about those and I will counsel and advise you along the way. If questions come up like, hey, we did our inspection and we want to request that the seller make a certain repair, I will counsel you on that. And if the seller does agree, we will draft the addendum or the amendment to the contract to take care of whatever that change is. We do all that too. I will also review your inspection report with you and I will give you advice and I will review that in conjunction with the seller's disclosures and I will give you advice on whether you should proceed, what other follow-up inspections you may want to consider, and if you do choose to proceed, whether you can come back after the seller if things are discovered about the property that you were not aware of and were not disclosed in your inspection report. My dogs are fighting, excuse me. Um, I will also review your closing documents prior to the closing. I have attended closings as well, um, but I will charge for travel and things to do that. But usually what I do is we have title send over the closing documents. We have title send over the title commitment, and I will review those things with you, alert you to any red flags, counsel you, make sure you understand every single document, make sure you understand what you're signing so that when the closing does come, you've already seen the documents, it's already been explained to you, and you can just go through and double check everything and sign. So all attorneys are different. That is what representation in a transaction would look like through my firm. Of course, you don't have to have me do all of those things. I have people that say, I just need the contract. I'll handle everything else or just the contract and closing documents. Or I have people that say, I want it all. Um, and so obviously fees will differ. But yes, we do charge our fees for each one of those services, okay. even in the event that you don't get to the closing table. Right. So you could pay me to drop the contract, you could pay me to review the inspection report, you could pay me to review your closing documents, and then if the deal falls through and you don't close, you've still paid me that money and you're not getting it back. So that's how it would work with us. I know there's a lot of questions about it. Obviously, there's a lot of things in between those services I just described that a realtor may and um, oftentimes do provide that I don't provide. So obviously, that is up to you and what is in your best interest and the best fit for you. Hope this helps. Bye.